All right, T.O. Hardeman. Yes. How you doing? Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Good to have you here. You ran in 2014. It's a grueling process running for governor. Why do that again? I like the uh, art of running for office, and, I, and I've talked to a lot of constituents uh, statewide, and they encourage me to run again. What's the first big change you would make getting into the governor's mansion? Well, first and foremost, uh, you know, it's been brought to my attention that women that work the same jobs that men work do not receive the same pay. So within the first 90 days of the Hardeman and Avery administration, we plan to change that story and make sure women receive the same pay. Obviously, with you, anti-violence has been a big part of uh, your life and your mission. What can you take from that to bring to the governor's office? We plan to reduce killings in Chicago by 50%. And I have a non-traditional approach. And that approach would be organizing the African-American community around the issue of violence in our community. It's non-traditional. The police can only do so much. But right now, we have a lot of work to do with young people. And as governor of Illinois, if the women are tired of crying and losing their sons and daughters to violence, Teal Hardeman is the man that with, with a serious plan to reduce it by 50% here in Chicago. I would like to be seen as the non-billionaire alternative running for governor. And what sets me aside also, I'm running to become the first African-American governor of the state of Illinois. Not just because I'm black, but because we're qualified. We can lead the state as well. We continue to go with the same stereotypical candidates, and it's time for a major change. The majority of the people in Illinois are hardworking people, and those are the people that we're going after to secure this victory. There you go, T.O. Hardeman. Well, if you want to stay on the future of our state, you have to get out and vote. The primary gubernatorial election is March 20th.